Hey, what's up guys? Gross here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install an SD card slot on either a Mac SE or an SE30. Now you might say to yourself, hey Gruz, you can't do that. There's no USB header or anything inside these computers that'll let you hook up an SD card reader. And you know, you wouldn't be wrong, except we live in a universe with brilliant people making brilliant inventions for our retro systems. The one I'm talking about today is called the Blue SCSI. And what this device does is let you use an SD card as a SCSI hard drive in old Mac systems. There's an external Blue SCSI and an internal Blue SCSI, but I want my system to be as compact as possible. So I'm going to be using my internal Blue SCSI hooked up with this really cool bracket here from a company called Potato Fi. Basically what this does is, you know, you screw your Blue SCSI into here and then you screw it into the back of your Mac. And then it gives you access to the SD card from outside of the machine. You don't have to open it up if you want to change cards. All right, so let's first throw down some protection here so we don't scratch up our table or our Mac. And then here's the Mac SE that I'm going to do this on. Now, if we look on the back here, Right here is where the bracket goes. So that'll look a little something like this, but I know it's not like flush with the case. It actually like is in there a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a little bit. But yeah, let me give you a little better look at this, at this 3D printed bracket here. It's very well made, I'd have to say. All right, so to get into this guy, there's four screws. There's two underneath the handle here, and then there's uh, one right here and one right here. And you gotta be careful not to lose or mix these up at all because it's uh, these are these ones down here have to specifically go there. You can't put them up there at all. And my computer is actually kind of dusty here, gross. But the, in order to get this off, we have to have a T15 bit, and I think I've shown this before, but this is my like little screwdriver thing that I, or my little Torx bit that I made back in, wow, it was like 2005 or something. They don't even sell these kinds of pens anymore. Like, remember these old white ones? These old white Bix? Yeah, they're not like that anymore. But the, yeah, I just gotta take this off. I'm gonna try to do this. The camera's a little bit in my way. Take this one off. Come on out now. It's time. Take this one off. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to lay this down flat. Okay. They should be gone. Okay, now we lift this up. Shake! Now these, you never want to use like a tool to pry this up here because that will scratch the case. Look at, there's a little one in there. I've never done that on this one, but I guess whoever had this before me must have did that. Maybe I did it, I don't know. What you can do is you can either slap it if it's really stuck, you could like bam, bam, slap it to try and break the seal or just use the weight of the computer. So you just go. Here we go. And now we are on the inside of the computer. Now you can see right here that my blue SCSI is already inside the computer. Now the reason for that is because I already did a video about this where I installed this blue SCSI in here. So go check that video out if you haven't already. But now in this video, I'm going to relocate it. And you'll notice that this is the uh, CRT. You want to be very careful. I haven't had this computer powered on in maybe two months or so. So I'm guessing it's going to be okay. I'm still going to be really careful not to get too close to that uh, CRT, but Unfortunately, it looks like the blue SCSI is screwed in right here and then right here, you just out of just out of reach, just to where it's hard to get at it, you know. So I think the best way to get this out would be to remove this screw right here and move the whole bracket out of there. So I'm going to do that first. And then I should be able to just Pull it on out of there. Definitely another one right here. Another screw. I'm going to pull this out of here. 
there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to unscrew the old blue SCSI. I need two hands to support it. Right here. That's a one. Here's a two. It's coming on out. Let us have it. Let us have it. Oh, there we go. And then we have freed the blue SCSI. So next I'm going to reinstall this bracket right here just so that it stays out of the way. Now what I did notice is that this um, potato fly adapter actually comes with the screws to mount this. So what I'm going to do with these hard drive screws so that I don't lose them is I'm going to attach them to this bracket like just like I did with these other two screws in here. There's, there's two of them right there, right there and there. So I'm just going to install this right there and then right, the other one right there just so I don't lose them. All right, I have the screws installed in the bracket there so that they won't get lost. And now I'm going to hook it back up to where it belongs in here. Just like that. Just kidding. <laughs> I got to screw it in there. There's one. And here is, where the hell is it going there? There's one and here is two. All right, so I have the blue SCSI removed and then I have the bracket reinstalled in here so that it doesn't, you know, get lost or is, gets kicked around or anything. And the uh, screws are, for the most part, screwed in there, you know, so they don't get lost. And now it's time to fit the blue SCSI into the bracket. Now unfortunately I'm going to have to take it out of this really cool mount here. I'll probably save that in case I uh, you know, need to install another one later. There's two screws holding it into this bracket. I'm going to take them out of here and then I am going to try and screw it into here. But before I do that I have to remove this piece from here. There we go. What this is is like a light diffuser so that the light from the blue SCSI board will go through the back here. See? And then we'll be able to see like activity and stuff like that. So it just goes kind of like that. And then, uh, you know, you can see activity. All right, so now I need to remove these little teeny tiny screws as best as I can. I am a caffeine addict, so my hands are pretty darn shaky. And I'm only using one hand here. But I'm sure we'll get it. Slow but steady, right guys? There we go. Little screw, get off. Not have magnetized this, but I hate when you're unscrewing stuff and then the screws don't stick to the driver and they drop everywhere. So sometimes I like to just magnetize the screwdrivers. I know it's probably not a good idea to do that when you're working on computer stuff, but I haven't run into any issues yet. Maybe one day. There we go. Got that guy out of there. All right, now the board should just lift up out of here. Which it does. Like I said, I'll throw this aside. Now we have the blue SCSI freed. All right, let's figure out how to do this now. I probably should have looked at some instructions, but that's not how I roll. Here we go. Got that one. Got that one. Get these out of here. Now, I wonder if I have to put this light thing on at the very end. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Yeah, I'm thinking we should put this on afterwards. So, make sure the SD card goes in there. And that should be that, just like that. 
I wonder what these screws are made out of because they're not sticking to my screwdriver. It's hard to do with one hand. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to pull this out so I can do it right. All right, so I got it screwed in there. Uh, you probably don't want to screw it too tight because, you know, just because it's plastic that you're screwing into. But uh, yeah, it's SD card lines up here just fine. You're able to pull it out. I can't do that right this second, but take my word for it. You'll be able to pull it out. And then we have to install this little light right there. Kind of looks like those pins are going to be in the way though. So I might have to bend them. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to bend those pins. All right, so what I've done to be able to make this fit, I realized that I didn't have anything this small to actually clip these. I tried with some nail clippers and they didn't work. So I just used these needle nose pliers to uh, push them down as absolutely flat as I could get it. I did the first five of them and that seemed to be just enough to where this will fit flush against these lights now. I'm going to install this again and we'll give it another shot. Alrighty, here we go again now. Pop this in here. Push it back in there. Actually, I need a little tool to get it in there. My fingers are way too big for this. So we push it back in there. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. You can see that it's right up in the back of there. Looks like it's fully in there. And then it's uh, right up against these LEDs right here. So it should pipe all the light through this clear bit and out the back. So you'll be able to see like hard drive activity and stuff like that. Or power. I don't know if it's hard drive or if it's just power. But you'll be able to see it. And then, yeah, it's all done here. We got the whole thing here all ready to install. Let's pop it in there. All right, so we're going to be installing it right here at the back of the case here. So in order to do this, there are a couple screws on here that I'm going to have to take off. And uh, I guess we just pop it into place and then redo the screws. Pretty simple. All right, so we will place it, put it into place right here, just like this. Then we take the screw, oh, okay, here we go. Just gonna tighten it a little bit, not go all the way quite yet. Put this one in here. Get it going here. But not too tight, remember, because this is plastic. We don't want to strip the screws. Okay, and then we just need to hook this cable back up to it. Kind of twisted already. Here we go. Just like that. You see that? Slide it on in there. Now, would you look at that? It's installed. But there is one thing left that we got to do here. And that is to punch out the back of the case. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on the back of the case here, there's this little punch out thing here that we have to actually push it to get it out of there. So we go that way with it instead of coming this way. We go boom. Oh, oh my gosh, it just launched way back there. <laughs> I'll probably never find that. But that's fine because we got an SD card there anyways now, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like on the back. The only thing left is to put the case back together and we're done. One Mac, one Mac back. There we go. Now we make sure that everything is okay. Make sure that shield went to the right area. And slide around when I put that on there and it looks like everything's fine so I'm gonna put the screws back in it now black ones go on the bottom here 
My screw, I need a new screwdriver. This thing is so busted up. Put these two back on there. And then I just need to put the ones in the handle. I like to just drop these into place first. You can even see that. Just drop them into place. That one went upside down, dang it. Ah. Hey. All right, we just gotta drop them into place here. There. That one's good. That one's good too. Thank goodness. So then we tighten this up. We tighten this one up. Make sure, yep, yep. We're good. All right, now let's take a closer look at the SD card slot here. So here it is. On the webpage for this thing, the guy says that he doesn't think it's very easy to pull the card out with your fingers since it's not one that can, you know, push in and then it ejects it out. It's actually just a slide it in and out. So you're gonna have to use, probably a use a tweezers to get that out of there. So make sure you get a good pair of tweezers, not any flimsy ones, cause that's probably not gonna work for you. And then here you go. I mean, you're probably not gonna be changing the card all that much anyways, because 32 gigabytes in a Mac SE, are you kidding me? But if you do need to change it, you don't have to hold the open the whole thing up and you can just pull it out. And there we go. I put it back in there, just slid back in. All right, so that's how you do it, guys. That's how you install an SD card slot in a Macintosh SD, SE. Very cool stuff. Now, if you wanna pick up the bracket or the blue SCSI, I will put links in the description so you can grab those. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it to let me know. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for your time today, guys. Goodbye.